Hello, everyone, and welcome back. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. And if you enjoy commentary that's straight to the point, join our family. I'd love to have you. As if the case about one of our elders, Kenneth Herring, wasn't bad enough that involved this gun-toting Karen named Hannah Payne, I'll link that video in the top right corner of this video and in the description box below. Here comes this heartless 30-year-old monster named Jesse Hodge. If you haven't heard of this egregious disregard for human life that involves another elder and a privileged white woman, let me catch you up to speed. Around 4.05 a.m. on September 4th, this Jesse Hodge was on her way to or from God knows where when she happened upon motorcyclist and army vet Dwight Woods on I-40 in Tennessee. This demon, who clearly was not paying attention, struck Mr. Woods with her vehicle from behind. And one would think that she would stop. But that's where you're wrong. This Jesse Hodge dragged the motorcycle and Mr. Woods hundreds of yards, the equivalent of three football fields. Then she wasn't done with her deplorable behavior. Jesse Hodge left this man on the side of the road as if he were roadkill and fled the scene like the coward she is. Thankfully, she was later found by the Knox County Sheriff and was made to return to the scene. She was arrested and charged with leaving the scene of a crash knowing someone died and following too closely. And in keeping with the American tradition where justice is blind when it comes to the lighter you are on the color spectrum, and in her case, she's the fairest of them all, she was released on bond. On September 16th, she had her day in court to answer to the charge, where, as expected, she pled not guilty. Her ridiculous attorney offered these unsympathetic words. Take a look. We uh, extend our heartfelt sympathies uh, to the deceased family, but it is our position that it was not a crime. It's an unfortunate set of circumstances. The attorney for the family and estate of Dwight Woods responded by saying this. We've got all the confidence in the world at the district attorney's office here in Knox County to make the right decisions and do a thorough investigation. Her attorney wanted us to know that there was no indication of alcohol when she was arrested. Oh, really? So why did she flee the scene instead of calling 911? That's a question that I'm sure the attorneys will get answered when she has her next court date, which is scheduled for November 5th or at her trial. The fact that this woman is free at the time of this recording and is able to come and go as she pleases, having been responsible for taking this man's life, must be a hard pill for his family to swallow because I know it would be for me. Imagine serving this country as a soldier, protecting the freedoms that Americans enjoy and being left for dead on the side of the road as if you're nothing. Actions like those of this Jesse Hodge and others like her are indefensible and should incur prosecution to the full extent of the law. Let's hope that this family receives justice for their grandfather, father, brother, son, uncle, and cousin, because that's the right thing to do. Let me know what you think in the comment section. I'll meet you there. And if you haven't already, please like the video as it helps to grow our channel, subscribe, and turn on your notification bell. Stay tuned for more, and I will catch you in the next one. Take care.